Uh, hello guys, today I am going to do something a little bit different. I have six different downloads of monsters made by uh, this guy named Ghosty MPA. Uh, and I'm going to redraw them because they're kind of outdated. You might know who he is, you might not. Uh, so I'm going to start with the first one. Okay, so we're starting off here with uh, Eggister. Uh, Eggister is a pretty easy, easy one, it's just an egg. That, that's all it is. Just an egg with some dots on it. So I thought we'd start out simple. This guy. And, uh... I'll check, check back in in a few minutes. You see here, I have, uh... Gone to the first phase of designing. I have added, uh, the shell. And some dots. And I know that this is going to be more remastered. So I added more dots. Just in case, uh, like, if they wanted to experiment with the idea of... Having them have more than uh, four sounds. Uh, three of them being made by the first dots and the last one being made uh, when the egg opens up. Then I might turn this top one here into an eye. And I know there is an eye already inside of Eggy Sir, but I still think it would be a nice addition. Uh, so I'll check back with you again after I d get done coloring it. I think that's about it. Um, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, I do. I actually am gonna add a little bit more. This is not the final project, uh, but as you can see, a nice, nice eye in the middle. A uh, bunch of dots to make various different sounds, and. I think I'm actually going to make that nest something special. I might not, though. I might just make it a normal nest. You know, if I make it too crazy, it's not going to be as cool. Uh, so, yeah. I'll do that real quick, and I'll check back in with you later. And there it is. That's the, uh, that's the finished project for Eggister. I'm really proud of this one. I do think I could have done a little bit better, but, you know, we can't all be perfect. I really like the design. See, uh, it's it's practically a normal nest. Uh, and now we're gonna move on to the next one, which I believe is Gem Uh As of right now, the next video that goes to MPA that if they post um, a video about Spark Factory reignited, this will be the next one. That shows up, Gem Rocka. And we're probably going to get to see the redesign then. And they even do get a redesign, which I hope they do. Because it will probably, it will likely be very, very cool. Uh, so now I'm going to design my own. Okay, so this is uh, the outline for Gem Rocka. Like, unlike the last one, I feel like this one has a lot of potential. And I'm very interested to see what this one's going to turn out to be like. Uh, so yeah, see you when I get done coloring it. So here is the design for Gem Rocka. I actually really like this one. It's a lot more simplistic. It doesn't have uh, the shading on the gems. And the line is thin. Also, the strings are just strings. It's like little lines. I think it, look, I think it looks pretty nice. Uh... And continuing on, we're going to have the last one for today, which I do believe is Zentaro. So here it is, the MG. So my idea for this one is that I'm going to make it completely different. It's not going to have, like, hands that fly around and hit the gems to make the sounds. It's going to have a bunch of gems lined up in front of it. Instead, I plan to also make it more resemble the Void Elk resemble the void element because it is minus the cool looking fire it doesn't do that too much so here we go last one so here's the outline it looks a little bit funky now because there's no fill yet so the outlines are overlapping among the layers and i have not drawn the hands yet actually uh those are going to be a lot special uh, so i'll see you when i get done coloring
Hey, racism for this project. Look at him. Look at him. Wait a second. Oh, I forgot to turn. There he is. <laughs> this one turned out surprisingly well. I was kind of uh, worried about the idea of having a giant row of gems because it's, it's really different compared to the last two. I just added more dots and gave him an eye. Uh, this guy, he barely changed. Like, has some extra gemstone stuff. This man, though, is very different. He no longer has floating hands. He has, he has hands coming out of portals, which uh, adds on to the void element. And overall, his own design, if we remove uh, these things, uh, hold on, remove these things, it just looks cooler in general. Uh, but I do think that the idea of having these cool new hands was a pretty good idea. Anyways, that's all for now. I am doing a part two because I have three more ones that I want to redesign. So, uh, I'll see you then. Goodbye.